the 11 o'clock sports center with keith arguably one of the you know most recognizable shows one of the most popular shows in the history of the place okay that's you're like half of that right you're well known you're in all the commercials and everything else you're like how do you walk away with that with that kind of i'm not going to say insecurity but that kind of willingness to be beat up and put yourself through that because they fostered that 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 you almost felt like you weren't worthy you you know, rarely got but you have to understand how did you Keith give them my, such control well be, because they beat you up they mentally beat you up and they put keith and myself uh in a corner you know they would never they didn't never promoted us they never you know it was like um a necessary evil i think and that you know with keith leading the charge there but here's your boss when i go into for a negotiation says to me you're over the hill and you'll never get another job in this business if you leave espn so that's where it starts i know but i could line up 10 people who have the fame and the, the but the, but know. their management their their boss is not saying that to them understand we're, we're in together but it's you're in this you're in this vacuum so they're controlling the air you breathe it's the truman show and mark mark shapiro was you know an ass to me and and by saying that now you want to give me this schedule that i signed up for which was from you know, 10 in the morning until midnight at night, and I'm sleeping in my office. I signed up for it, but you don't have a boss who is there to um, be in unison with you. Why didn't you look him in the face and say, I think you're dead wanted, wrong, the hell with you. I wanted I'm to kick his ass. I did, I did, want, to, I did want to fight you him. You sucked it up for three yes, years? Yes, what are you, Job? I, <laughs> <laughs> I was, uh, you know what, I was scared. I was, I, I had, you know, my wife and kids and I was scared. Okay, but let me ask you a question. At any point, did you have like an agent or somebody kind of make some calls around and say, is this guy right? I mean, is, is it possible that nobody else wants me? Because, I mean, that's a... My agent said we should sign the deal. Okay. And, uh, you know, then it got to the point where I was ready to leave, where I had this mutual option if I was going to stay or not stay. And uh, I finally looked him in the eye, my new boss, and said, you know what, I, I don't do take it or leave it, I'm going to leave it. And I'm glad I did. But it took 18 years where, you know, you're in this abusive relationship, but you're not leaving the abuse, abusive relationship. Uh, at least that's...